Hello YouTube. Going to do a quick little video today on uh, our homemade engine stand or a redneck engine stand. Got a little 289 uh, Ford motor mounted on this one here. We built this thing out of uh, a lot of scrap material here that we had around the shop. Had uh, an old plant rack, uh, two of them that was able to cut up and make into one unit. Uh, the tubing is an uh, inch and a half in, uh, in size and uh, got a little motor plate built in the back to hold on to the uh, mount to the bell housing so that the uh, we could mount the starter up as we move around here to the front you can see that uh, we've got our little starter relay down here on the uh, bottom portion of it along with the battery for all of our power sources moving up here we have uh, kind of multiple coil setups here this was for a, a point set up with a resistor on it or we'll bypass it and jump around it like we have here now because we went to an electronic ignition on this motor here coming around and look uh, looking at our control panel here uh, the switch over to our left we have electric fan set up on it and then we've got our uh, water tack and oil pressure and key on off uh, this is uh, our little reservoir for it. We've got uh, a temporary setup on some of this. We're still doing a little bit of uh, manufacturing to it. But uh, it's working out real well. We can start these motors up, do a little bit of test and tune out here before we drop them off into the car, make sure we don't have any leaks or anything of that nature. So uh, I think that's going to about do it. We're going to start this thing up for you here so you can listen to it. We've got some uh, open headers on it. Sounds pretty good. Once you have one of these, you'll never go back. See y'all.